I'm just gonna sit this at the start of the video because uh, I finished the Harry Maguire. I just thought I'd go and spend 10k to complete the uh, Man City. Let's get 35k back. Come on. This is on my main account. Any time to get a team in a season. It's not even a board. Oh my. Uh, into the video. Why am I doing this? I've spent so much. Oh my. Why? Right, I guess I packed hold of my rod. It's not the point. Why am I doing it? I'm not going to pack anyone. I'm, I'm probably never going to pack another team this season, never mind turn the same pack. Board or walkout though? Walkout. I mean, SPC don't be one I already have, don't be Firmino. I give up with this game. Oh, this game makes me. Yo guys, welcome to today's video. Today I'm going to be showing you how to get unlimited coins basically and for all those who you who have already done this method stay tuned because like even if you've clicked off already in the what like, like didn't watch that 35k pack and you're not here now well, it doesn't really matter but um i will be showing you how to get unlimited accounts as well so what you want to do is the accounts that you've maxed out so make sure to max out you do delete club delete it and get make sure you get as maximum club creations as you can um so do that, and then once you've fully used the account, got no coins on it, go through and go into Xbox uh, settings. This is this is for only those. Skip about a minute in if if you've never done any of this before. But this probably applies to quite a lot of you who are skipping through. Remove account, and then remove all the accounts that you don't want to use, and then leave it. I'd say a day and a half, two days, and you should be able to get about four more accounts. And once you've done that, if you've got some mates or you've got a brother and you've got some mates who don't do it. Pay them 10k and just be like, can you just go on and make me an account and then just log into EA? That's why I've done more of my mates here. They've done it and I paid them. I paid them 10k and then they just do the setup and then they just give me the password and everything and then they've done it for me. So then I have another account even though I've maxed everything out. So that is ways to get around having the maximum EA thing. But for those who you who are new and you just want to know how to make coins, what you want to do is you want to make a new account and then make a new EA account. Get in and I'd pick England when you get to pick your squad. Pick England. For kits, when you get your kit selections, my mate's already done this, I hope he's done it. Um, for kit selections, pick gold kits. And if you don't know which one to go, just search up the team. And uh, or, uh, search up the team, or just pick one you know, because they'll most likely be um, gold. So then you can go into badges, change your badge, make that one active. Quick sell for 56, then you've got 56 coins, and then obviously you should have two kits. Yep, he's done it correctly. And then you can quick sell them two other kits as well. If you've not done this, uh, don't worry. If you forget to do this, don't worry. Because you can do some of the objectives if it's a new account. This is just so otherwise, if you have no objectives, like put them in the posi proper positions, you'll have to play a game to get coins. So as you see, I've got 168 coins, and then you want to get coins over. So you want to do max price 150, min price 650. This is so you don't get someone coming across and buying now. So I'll just do the silver 150, let it just do the bid. As I said, I do that just so people who are going to do the 200 coin just buy now. You, you get outbid a lot because people are just doing their 200 and it's like, oh. Whereas uh, you, if you want to you be proper coin efficient, you've got to search everyone up. You've got to know what you're going to do. So the bid's up now and I can just go get the player. So the bid's up now and I can just go get the player. Now you want to list it for a, a few coins. So I'll just put that start price and then... About don't do ten. I just do about nine point five, nine point six, nine point three. You just want enough so you can be able to do the first SPC. And then I list it, take a picture, or you can just go on the companion app. But I don't like to do that um, because I don't. I don't want my account being involved in coin distribution. Like this is a disclaimer. You can get banned if you do stupidly, like coin wiped. My my account, main account, got coin wiped for literally just selling my players. I won't even like doing anything but you can get banned transfer banned so take it slow when you've got coins on account take it slow uh, i do bids um, i wouldn't do so many in a day i'd probably do one a day just to be really careful and i wouldn't keep transferring coins on buy now like if it's like 9k and it's like a silver that's worth like 200 coins it just looks suspicious so make sure you are careful with transferring coins or search up ways to transfer coins because i do i currently do inform borrowers but like every inform is like 20k at the moment so it's not necessarily the best because it's probably only about 50k every time you transfer where it used to be 60 so yeah so when i go back onto this account i'll have to do the star sbc and then i always start with nations because nations doesn't require loyalty 
And the way I do it, I always go bottom left because then you get a fairly good pack, and then top left, top right. It's in order of good pack, so top left worst, top right's eh, bottom left good, bottom right's the best. So I just do bottom left, top left, top right, bottom right, just to make it more interesting. You don't have to do it that way, you can do it however you like, but I always, I've always done that, and I've got a welcome pack for some reason. Um, I've always done that because I've found I can always get through the SPCs that way. Uh, there are some that require loyalty, so I'll show you the best ways to manage to do that when you get to it. But I always look for a player that potentially might need in a squad, so I'll put Lucas Labour. And then these ones I just discard because you don't want lo loans, they're just annoying. If you want the SPC tutorials, you have to go to Footbin. Um, I'm sure everyone uses Footbin if you're watching this video. And there are three, I think the first two in Hybrid Nations require silvers or that, whatever. You can set it so it's only gold players. But I, I, I've got three that I use, and they've not got 200 coin players, or supposedly 200 coin players at 5k, because everyone uses it. So I try and find one that works for you. And I'm not going to give you mine, because otherwise then that will ruin mine. Um, but I just try and find some that work for you, and they're the most coin efficient for you. So then you can keep using the, the same squad over and over without having to try and find a new one and like the pri prices fluctuate. I can usually get through an account in about an hour and a half, two hours, um, but it gets a bit. It can occasionally get a bit boring. So when I lose will to do it, I just go do something else, or I watch a podcast whilst I'm doing it, or I watch a stream, just something like that, just to keep you entertained, or you go on mic and do it. Um, but it's worth the grind because I've I've found probably about five mil. I found I, I think I got a mil like like a week last week. Um, and then I spent it all on packs, but it's just I like opening packs, so it helps you get rid of the need to spend money. If you know what I mean. Now this SPC says nine point three k to complete, and I only have nine point one. So occasionally we'll have to put a bit more coins on, just do like a two k. But I I'm gonna try and see how far I can get with it. But these are usually seven k to do, so I think price is just to be inflated at the moment. So I'm following it online. If there's one, so I press the little top arrow in the top right of the squad. Look how much they're meant to be. And if they're like a couple hundred coins over, right at the start it's not worth it. Like this guy's meant to be a K, and he's exactly 1K. But you do get a few players who are below, and then a few who are above. So it like fluctuates and it comes about right. So as you can see, I didn't have enough to complete all of them, so I'm two players off. Which will probably be about another 3K, but you'll get the... I've got some coins here. Make sure you do have definitely coins, but I knew I had objective coins. And then I'm just going to do it off my main account because it's going to be like 2k or something. So I'm just going to get a silver because that looks less suspicious. But if you want to be really non-suspicious, go do a... That's why I got banned then. Um, go do a non-rare gold. Because you could be like, it could be like, look like it's like an elite SPC or something. Or it was just, just for an SPC. But I'm going to go do the same thing. This is usually the worst SPC because you have the least amount of coins. If you don't want to start with a 45k pack, I understand because 45s aren't necessarily the greatest. You'll see what I might get out of this one. They're either good or not. There's like no in between where it like makes your coins back. You can get non board to like a team of the season. And then you've got the two top ones, which will probably about 5 6 k And then you've got to try and get into the bottom one, which will be about 15 k When a, when an account is expensive to do, that usually means that the player, any player that you get is up in price. So it usually like equals out. So it shouldn't really make a difference. Just make sure you do check players' prices and the leagues, etc. And you'll break even. Um, but there's no chance that by the time you finish this SBC, the whole of this SPC, you won't have coins. You'll have already made at least, I'd say, 5k profit. Okay, so I just bought him 3k. So I'm gonna finish doing this SPC, and then I'll, um, my camera's about to die, because I'm charged in about a week. Um, put that on charge, and I'll complete the last three SPCs, and then leave myself with the 250s and 55s. So you can see that it, like, it will definitely be profitable, because you get like really good packs for literally cheap so there's there's like no way you're not going to make profit okay so we did have a big problemo and we've ended up on exactly the same amount of coin um i replaced two players you know and usually you can replace two players but this time i couldn't and i was one came off and i didn't have enough money to buy a position change so i had to go and sell warmer and then try to snipe doncer uh and we did it i swear that's been used then no so here we go, 45k pack. My cameras are literally blinking so much. But here we go, come on. 45k pack. Just enough to push me onto enough coins for next time. So I'm gonna board. Oh my. That's appalling. See, I hate 45k packs. I hate them with a passion. Because they always just stiff you over. There's not even any Premier League rares. 
if you want to go through and check, like, you can probably get a few coins extra for him. You want a proper sweat coins out, look, so, you just look for how much they are, 900, I saw one there, so you could probably get, like, 550, 600, you want to literally get every coin you can. I wouldn't trust Footbin for every price, because you usually don't update them, but, usually you can just tell how much a player is, like, I could probably just easily get 900, you want to also sell them cheaper, so then yeah, you've got coins for the next SBC. But I'll come back to you when I've got like the 250s and the 55s, so I've done the top two because my camera's literally about to die. So yeah, I'll be back in a second. Well, ladies, I've finished. Uh, if you ever need like wait for the coins to sell, just literally just leave it like an hour or get some or do something else. Go on your main account, play some games. I just went and got some toast and got there, not even eating it. And obviously my camera had to charge, so I just left it. But 50k pack, team of season. What are you saying? Board or walkout? No, give me a team of the season. I don't even care. Boards, unless it's like Fabinho or Langley or Varane. There's no one I care about. Philippe Anderson, there's no other Premier League goals in there, but there is a UCL in there selling for a bit at the moment, so. Philippe Anderson's 6k though, still, so. He's 5.9, so I'm going to list him for 5.7 just because I want the coins to then be able to do it. So you want to list it for a couple hundred below. If That's if you're desperate for the coins, but if you really like keeping your coins. Then just just list it for about the same. So I I do check pretty much every player just so I can maximize the amount of coins I get instead of like most people just quick sell them. But every literally every coin helps like right, when you start off and it all adds up. So oh I did get a Premier League right my bad Premier Leagues at the moment are instant two point five to three k. So right, that's that one done. On to the next one. Look, we're on twelve k. So and I've only put I think thirteen on here. So. Board or walk out. <sighs> Board again. I don't, I don't care. Sock Craddies. Uh, he's the only Premier League one in there this time. 4.6k. What am I on about? Right, there's literally a Bufal in it. Okay. Well, how do I miss them? I don't get it. I literally scanned it. I don't care. See how I keep missing them. You want to keep contracts. Um, I only tend to keep the gold ones. And then these, you see, I fluctuate between 750 to 850. Just so they sell, but you don't need them on this account, but contract you do need for doing loyalty. Quick sell them, quick sell them. Camp Centre 4, I believe that sells for a couple K. Yeah, so I just want to sell it quickly, so let's put it for 3.5. Left wings to left mids and that, uh, they're probably about 400. Just just quickly set for 300. Um, you don't want to keep... No, 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 all that, just quick sell. And then we should end up on about 30K? 23k, when the things sell though, ten, so we've still got 10 selling, we'll be on about 30k. When Socrates sells, Torbin sells, all these squad, well, there you go, I'm already above 30k. So who sold, it must be Socrates. And the camp set up for it. When all them sell, I'll be on about 37k, 38k, and it's so easy, and that's only one SPC set completed, and, I, and look, I didn't even pack anyone good. Next I'm going to do hybrid league, I'm going to start with the bottom left, so I'll do the 35s. I'll make my way around, just come back to you when I got the packs. There we go, there's another one completed. I'm gonna have a bite of my toast because it's just looking at me, so. It's gone cold. Board or walk out. Board! Stop giving me board! Give me a team of season. Two packs. <laughs> Damn! Come on! Also, always check the silvers, push the right stick to the right. Not Ger German 2 won't. Belgium could potentially, but probably not. I mean, you could probably get a few, but I don't think he'd sell. He will. He definitely will. Uh, I thought he'd have more than that. Just any league SBCs, which he will probably sell, because that thing that came out the other, other, what, the last week. Just add him for that. 300 coins, all adds up. He probably will, because it's a pseudo Americana. Just, I just want to quickly sell it, so 800 coins, can't complain. Come on. After this I've got to do loyalty, just give me some of it. Oh, I don't want to know, unless there's Premier League players in it. So my young Caesarians. Well, I, was a, I saw the Caesarians on my stomach things when you have a kid. Anyway, 
I get a 50 for just completing it, and a 55 for completing the group, so... Do you have this season? <sighs> Inbound. And I swear to God, if I don't get a team of the season, I'm genuinely going to be very upset. Border walkout. I'm feeling pain. Right, I'm getting up. Team of the season, team of the season. Be at least a border walkout though. Okay, it's not even a board. Okay, now I... Feel like a prick for standing up. <clears throat> so I'm going to finish these two last SBCs. One is a 45 on the 4 leaf clover, rainbow zen. This is the only one you need to complete because it costs about 11, 12k. Um, and then the other one is um, a 35 and then I don't complete three because I can't be bothered at the moment. And I'll leave you in the trusty hands of the previous self, which was like probably three hours ago because I did complete them on another account. So it's like so it's like a full account, but it's just on a different account. So it probably cost me about 25 25k I'd say to complete an 80k's worth of packs. So we're gonna do the worst pack, which should be the best pack. I'll just release the trim. Uh the 45. Not even a board, look, there's no point of doing 45s. We got nipple. This light's hurting my bright. This light's hurting my eyes, not my bright. What? Last pack and then we're gonna go to past Jamie, but it's gonna be in the future. But it's gonna be in the past. Go on. Board or walk out. Oh my. Summer. This game hates me. It hates me. Alright, this is probably one of the worst packs, but. Ugh. Not bored. I'll have to get a drink after this and put some music on or something. God, I'm getting bored just sat in silence. I'm not even bored again. Oh my. Three, two, border walker, come on. Border walker, come on. Team of season, please.